Howdy folks, Jake here. So, it is no longer daylight savings times, folks. We are officially into the thick of it. Um, it is actually getting pretty close to actually being winter, which is crazy. Time has been absolutely flying. It's, I don't know, and, and I also realized that as I was, um, I was uh, uploading video on Friday, I think. It's Friday or Saturday, I don't remember. Um, but I was uploading a video, and I realized, like, I have, like, 160-some videos uploaded on my channel or something like that. At least, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the number it gave me, which is a lot. <laughs> I really haven't felt like I've been doing it all that long. I mean, oops, sorry. Bunch of this thing here. Um, but I really haven't felt like it's been that long like I don't feel like I've made that many videos I mean like I've uploaded nearly every day with the exception of maybe you know three weeks worth of days um and I I don't know I just don't feel like it's been you know that long but then I think back to it and I think I started uploading at the uh, middle end of May or something like that so I don't know it's just crazy to think about that I've been doing this for uh, for a little while now I mean shoot like I said it's, it's no longer daylight savings time we've already gotten there it's crazy but yeah which also means that it's November which is also crazy I mean just again the passage of time we are no longer in October so it's nuts and uh, I guess happy Halloween belated Halloween I guess I never really got a video out uh, while Halloween, you know, while it's Halloween season, I guess, actually, you know, actually saying happy Halloween, um, but yeah, happy Halloween, I guess, late, whatever, um, but yeah, that also means this year, um, it's voting, voting season, so yeah, for those of you who find that to be something that's important, which hopefully is more than not, um, go vote, because, well, I guess someone has to, <laughs> I'm honestly not too thrilled about the uh, current election, but, you know, whatever. I suppose it's like some kind of moral duty or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, so I tried to get you guys uh, a episode of Vive, you know, something from the Vive. Um, uh, what was it? On Friday, I think. I was going to try and get something on Friday. Um, and... As I was recording, the uh, I mean I didn't notice anything while I was playing. I was playing um, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, um, which is a gun simulator. Probably one of my favorite games that I have on the Vive, um, just because I don't know I, I like guns. Um, I like you know going to the range and that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, uh, he the guy the developer for um, for Hot Dogs, Horses, Hand Grades, or H3, as it's abbreviated to, um, the dev for H3, he uh, put, or he made an, a Halloween update, uh, maybe, I don't know exactly when, maybe a couple weeks ago, um, and it has this thing called the Meat Grinder, which was what I played for, or what I tried to record. And I guess technically I did get the footage, but I only got the gameplay and I didn't get the face cam. Uh, footage, which the face cam footage is what I actually get my voice audio from, um, and so if I did post it, it would have been just no talking, nothing, just just what you know what I was seeing. Um, so I was like, ah, you know, it sucks because I recorded for probably over an hour, and then I just had to scrap the whole thing. So it, it kind of sucked. It just felt like a big waste of time at that point, and it was kind of a bummer. But it was kind of fun because I did beat it, um, this meat grinder mode, and I'll explain what it is in a second. But um, it was pretty fun because I did actually end up beating it. Um, but uh, I don't know. It was, it just, that was still kind of overshadowed by the fact that I had to scrap an entire over an hour long video that, you know, I had a lot of fun recording. You know, and I, and I hate not being able to... I hate enjoying something and, you know, having fun recording it and not, then not being able to post it. So, uh, that was kind of a bummer. But anyway, so this meat grinder mode, which is so much fun, um, is basically there's a uh, there's a map. And it's like there's four sections to the map. There is a, um, there is a boiler room area. 
there's a restaurant area, there's an office area, and then there is a like a walk-in cooler area. Um, and so essentially, uh, uh, somewhere in these four areas of the map, um, there is three pieces of meat. Um, and these pieces of meat are like human torsos. <laughs> and uh, so basically to find them and bring them back to the room that you spawned in, um, and then where there's a meat grinder and you throw the pieces of meat in the meat grinder. Um, so the, the replayability of the game is kind of nice also because um, the map is a set thing. And the stuff that spawns into that map, i.e. like ammo, guns, that sort of thing, I believe is more or less set in stone. Um, unless you get like a random weapon drop from one of these special rooms, which I'll explain. Um, <clears throat> but so basically the... Uh, there's this big map with all these these four areas, and then there's these special rooms, I guess is what I call them, or just rooms, I guess in general, um, that uh, basically you walk into it, and they typically will, sometimes they're kind of dead ends, uh, but usually they'll have two, they'll have two doors, they'll have an entrance and an exit. Um, and so you walk into it, and then both the doors shut. And then something will happen in the room. So it, it ranges from anywhere from the doors just shut and then four levers appear and then you just have to flip the right lever and then it will open up the doors again and you just walk out. Um, or it will be um, something like doors shut, levers appear, you flip the right lever and it will drop you some guns and ammunition and that kind of stuff. Uh, which is nice because there's no ammo. Normally in, in uh, H3 you can do what's called spawn locking. Um, in which you put like a magazine, you have some like holster slots or I, qu I think they're called, um, uh, they're called like quick, 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 quick belt slots or something like that. I don't remember. Um, but basically, um, uh, you can put magazines in those and then you can press a button on it and then that makes it so you can just infinitely pull from it. Um, but that is disabled in this mode. So, you know, finding ammo and stuff is really important because there are things and they're trying to kill you. Um, so um, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the other thing that can happen is, uh, you know, a trap in there. So like some enemies will spawn in there that you have to kill or um, there will be uh, like some kind of like spikes come down from the ceiling or like there's like a big like basically big meat grinder thing will kind of drop down from the ceiling and then kind of make its way across the room and there's various ways to be able to defuse the traps and that kind of stuff and be able to survive them but um so these these rooms or these special rooms or whatever you want to call them um basically those are where the uh or some of those anyway are kind of designated i would imagine um is where the spawn room like the your starting room can be placed at like one of you know a selection of areas which get which adds to the replayability and also the meat is also then uh also randomized it's in a different it's in you know i would imagine that you know they can be in you know so many of these rooms and then you know they just kind of get randomly dropped into the room so um yeah, it's pretty cool. I even after I beat it, I still play it. Um, it's a ton of fun. I think my favorite thing about it is that it's a game. Like the game itself, H three was is a gun simulator that put a real game. You know, I say real game, but you know, it, you, you get what I'm saying. Put in you know actual kind of like more game mode into the game, um, or at least something that's a little more. I guess expansive than some of the other things. He he does have some other things that are pretty cool. He like he's in a read mode, um, but that is a very work in progress type of thing, very very early in development kind of thing. Um, but this is more of a polished thing that he made. Um, and I don't know. I I just think it's really cool um, that I get to play more of like a solid feeling game and a horror game at that. I mean, it, very claustrophobic, very tight corridors. Very uh, the only light you have is a flashlight. And that's the only light really in the in the whole thing. So uh, I absolutely love it. It's good horror experience. Um, uh, but then it, you know, on top of that, it has the realism of the gun simulator, which personally I love because like I get why that's not introduced. You know, in most VR shooter games, you know, like that realism, um, because you know, like to be able to put the mag in the gun, you actually have to line up the mag and the gun and you know, slide it in there. Um, and under pressure, 
it is exceedingly hard to do that. <laughs> so I don't know. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I like. I like. I really liked having the realism of the guns and stuff in, in you know a more, I guess, normal game, uh, or I guess more full fleshed out game. Um, so. That was cool because I mean, like the other games, I guess that have that to compare to is like um, I have the Brookhaven experiment, and that one is I mean, like to reload, you just like press the grip buttons or the grip button on the on your gun hand, and then it just automatically pulls out mag, throws a new one in, and it's like I don't know. I'm also big on inventory management, so I mean, like I like games where you know, like if I pull a mag out, you know, it's still got however many rounds are left in it. And, you know, like, I have to have space in my inventory to be able to, you know, actually keep on holding on to it. So, there's just a lot of things like that that I really like about um, about it. Um, and it still, it, it makes me really sad that, uh, basically, I think what would happen was something in my graphics card kind of crashed and then restarted. So, it, for me in the game, it was probably something is just, you know, kind of like a flash of the screen or, you know, something that's kind of not necessarily completely uncommon for the Vive. Um, and so I didn't notice it. And of course, I don't, you know, I don't make a habit of, you know, like lifting up the goggles and checking my monitors and stuff while I'm playing. So it makes me really sad. I might try and throw it up some other time again. Uh, we'll see if we can do it. But it is a lot of stuff going on. Um, and it's also recording a bunch while I'm playing something that's fairly taxing on on my computer. I mean, just running the Vive in general is pretty taxing on my on your graphics card, uh, or at least definitely can be very easily. So, I don't know. I, I'm I might try it again sometime. We'll see. Um, I might give it a test run for a little while, and if it crashes again, just not even bother with really trying to do it anymore but it was a lot of fun um i really enjoyed it and if you are into that kind of thing and you have a five one of my top recommendations for any game that you should get is h3 hot dogs horses and hand grenades highly recommend one of my very favorites cannot give enough props to uh i, I believe the the guy who made it, his name is anton something um but cannot give enough props to that guy he did a spectacular job with that game, and I cannot give it enough praise. But anyway, before I continue rambling on, thank you folks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like for me just so I know. Subscribe if you want, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.